All right, we're back, and I'm here again with Lady D. Now I'm not catching her. Yeah, that's that's Kanisha poking her head in. <laughs> so now that now that everything is finished, we're pretty much out of all the water and everything, and all the, the soups, and we've done our our well, the first part of our work. Many of us are still out in the field, still working. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit? Well, first, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lady D, I'm Marlene Durio. Uh, like I call me Lady D at church, it just makes it easier. And uh, we're at Radis Ministries. We actually serve the homeless. We used to do it twice a month, uh, about a year. And last year we started doing it once a month. At the end of the month, um, we come together and we serve the homeless here under the bridge. We bring uh, beverages and we bring uh, snacks and foods and some kind of food and stuff like that. And then we do a blanket drive like every October to get them ready for the winter time. And we do different things during the year as well for them. Um, Today we had a really great crowd, I would say it's a little over 200 people here, and um, the line was kind of quick. Uh, when we saw serving people, we used to put them all out in the front, and then the people in the back didn't get in. So today we did something a little different, and we actually served them on both ends at the same time, so that that way the fruit and the breakfast were in the back, as well as breakfast and stuff in the front. And so everybody got a little bit of everything. And, we, and then we have people on the side that pray for those that are in need of prayer. And so that was really nice. And um, at the end, when we finish everything, we go and we give out the extra waters and the food to the people that couldn't make it to the line. And so that, that everybody gets served something. And then we also pray for those out in the field. And it was a really good experience for the teenagers that come out because they see that life is real. And people do become homeless for whatever reason and they are in need. So it gives them the experience to see what's going on and be able to be a help and a blessing to those that are in need. And um, for those that first time people that come out, it's an experience, an eye opener. So, how long has Braddock been, been coming and, and doing the service out there? This is our third year. Third year. Okay. Third year. okay. All right. Well, awesome. Awesome. And Thank you nice. for the hearts. By the way, I want to shout out to those who joined. Thank you for the hearts. Um, so, there are other ministries that come out here. And okay. They come out uh, different times of the uh, right. We uh, Saturdays, and Sundays also we've been out here as well, and a different range of people coming from all over because under the bridge they know that people come to serve. They recognize us by our band, they see our band, they just start coming to line up. Some of them are regulars, and there's a lot of new people that are out here too, coming from all over. You know, not just Austin, but coming from California and other states and whatnot that have come here to Austin and then found themselves uh, in a homeless situation. So we try to help them out and pray for them and give them the resources that they need to help them get along that day and bless them. Awesome. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lady D, you for welcome. being on and, and, and telling us a little bit about what Braddock's ministry does. It's just we just love a, people. <laughs> another another effort, an example of how we love people. So that's it for now. Uh, check back with us throughout the day when you see us live. Jump on, and see more of God's work from these from our great people, our pastor and his family. Tomorrow morning, ten o'clock, we will be live streaming from service. You want a word, you want to be blessed, you want to be there. 10 a.m. Central Time.